No, I can't. Hmm. I really want to, but... Okay, okay, I'll give it a try. It's got to be around here somewhere. There it is. Hmm. Where do I begin to read? John 3.16 For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulders, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God the everlasting father, the prince of peace. And this is the record, that God had given us eternal life, and this life is in his Son. He that had the Son had life. And Jesus called a little child unto him and set him in the midst of them, and said, Verily I say unto you, Except ye be converted, and become as little children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. Whosoever therefore shall humble himself as a little child, the same is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And whoso shall receive one such little child in my name, receive it me. He is despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrow, and acquainted with grief. And we hid it as it were all faces from him. He was despised, and we esteemed him not. Surely he had bore our grief, and carried our sorrows. Yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God, and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquity. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. Alexa, what does salvation mean? The Merriam-Webster Dictionary has the following definitions. 1. Deliverance from the power and effects of sin. 2. Preservation from destruction or failure. 
3. Deliverance from danger or difficulty. The Cambridge Dictionary has the following definition. In the Christian religion, salvation of a person is the state of being saved from evil and its effects by the death of Jesus on a cross. Alexa, based on the Bible, how can someone be saved? In the book of Ephesians, chapter 2, verse 8, the Bible says the following. For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God. This gift of grace was given to all in the form of his Son, Jesus Christ. Therefore it is written in the book of John chapter 14, verse 6. I am the way, the truth and the life, no man cometh unto the Father but by me. For it was the life and death of Jesus that enables an individual, through the process of faith, to receive grace or pardoning favor from God. In this way, an individual, having a daily relationship with God, through prayer, reading the Bible, and submitting to His will, can be saved. Good morning everyone. Today's event, we will be learning basic survival skills. 1. We will be learning to create a campfire. This is important because fire could be used for cooking, for keeping warm, and it could be a light source. It could even ward off predators. 2. We will be making shelter. Learning to build shelter is very important as it can act as protection against the weather or even from animals. And 3. Foraging for food. In the wild, learning to find edible food is important. Luckily, there are many fruit trees out here, so we should be fine. We will leave in 50 minutes, so go get ready and we will head out. It's called conversion. That's when one has the desire to follow God. Hey Zach, the event is about to begin. Come on man, you'll be late. Okay, I'll be there in a minute. Hey, what's with the bag? Well, you never know what you could encounter. So it's better to be safe than sorry. We have reached our destination, folks. Lesson one will begin. For our first event, we will start our campfire. Firstly, we'll need to gather some firewood. Then we'll need something to start a fire. Matches, a lighter, or the good old-fashioned way. Two rocks or a stick. Now, by striking these two rocks together, they will produce a spark. This spark will be used to create your fire. And we can also use a piece of stick. By rubbing this stick onto your firewood, it creates friction. And the heat from friction eventually creates a fire. Now for lesson two, building a shelter. We need to gather some more sticks to help build a shelter. Uh, Officer Punch, your pants is on fire. And here we are, we have it, 
a makeshift tent. This tent should protect you from the rain, even from the sun, and even from some wild animals. Okay, folks, now it's your turn. Hey, Kevin, I'm almost finished over here. Now that we have our fire and our shelter, let's go gather some food. Steven and Vicky, you come with me. Mikey and Scott, you go with Alice. And Sam and Zack, you go with Officer Punch. When in the wild, Knowing where your next meal come from is very important. Luckily for us, the outdoors are filled with many amazing fruit trees. Hmm. You know, in the book of Genesis, God said, Behold, I have given you every herb bearing seed, which is upon the face of all the earth, and every tree in which is a fruit of the tree yielding seed. To you it shall be food. So, in the beginning, Adam and Eve ate fruits? Correct. They had a plant-based diet. Wow! They were just like my rainbow pony. He loves plants. Just up ahead, we'll find some fruit trees. Last one there is a rotten egg. Hey, where's Steven? Ah, uh, he should be here soon. He's not good at running. Okay, well, let's begin to pick some fruits. He'll catch up soon enough. Where, where am I? I can't move. What's, what's good on here? The target has been captured, sir. Great. And now we have the upper hand. Victor must yield to our demands. And soon, this camp of his will be no more. Ensure that the boy is transported safely to me, Agent 67. Yes, sir. Hey, wait, it's been like 15 minutes and there's no sight of Steven. Um, Kevin, do you think he got lost or something? Let's, let's not jump to conclusions. I'll go take a look around. You go back to Officer Punch. I'll meet up with you back there. There's no sight of him at all. Wait! That's Steven's rainbow pony. What? Why is it here? And there's some weird footprints. This seems like a job for a samurai. Is someone there? Hello? I am Agent 67. Soon we'll be leaving this place. So you just sit tight and everything should be okay. Wh why Why are you doing this? What have I done? 
It's not about you. It's your dad. He's doing things that the boss doesn't like. So we need to take care of business. Please, let me go. More footprints that lead over the hill. Wait! An abandoned house. He must be there. It's Stephen! What should I do? <laughs> Can you stop with all that? Come on, man. You're a man. Men don't cry like that. Are you some kind of baby? <laughs> Sir, um, I, I, I identify as a girl. I may look male, but since I was small, I always felt like I was a girl. The least you could do is identify me correctly. Identify as a what? As a girl? You, ugh, you're giving me a headache. I gotta get some fresh air. This is just a bit too much. Identify as a curl. What is this world coming to? He identifies as a girl. Hey, Steven! Shh. It's me, Kevin. I'm here to save you. Let's get out of here. Hey, what do you think you're doing? And who, who are you anyways? Wait, wait, don't, don't tell me. You identify as some type of ninja? I have no idea who you are or what plans you have for my cousin, but know this, I identify as a child of the Most High God. What? Uh, today just keeps getting weirder and weirder. Anyways, both of you, don't move a muscle, or someone's getting hurt. Kevin, I'm scared. There's no need to fear, Stephen. The Bible says the angel of the Lord encamp around about them that fear him and deliver them. Sir, you messed with the wrong person. By the way, do you know that the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword? What just happened? I, I, I have no idea. But I think God was with us. I'll call the cops. I think he's out cold. With this toy sword, pack 
bag. So punch. Good job, kids. This could have turned out pretty bad. And as for you, I think you'll be behind bars for a very long time. Let's get out of here. I, I think I need to sit down a while. Hey, Kevin. Thanks for saving me. Ah, uh, it was nothing. Hey, what's wrong? Ah, uh, Stephen, I've got to talk to you. I kind of overheard what you said earlier. What I said? Yeah, you mentioned that you identify as a girl. Wait, you heard that? Please, don't tell my dad anything. <sighs> you know what, Stephen? This is what the Bible says about all of us. It says that we are shapen in iniquity and in sin we were conceived. It also says that all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Do you know what that means? Not really. It means that all of us had sinned at some point in our life and made bad decisions. It also shows that by nature, we are drawn to doing bad things and to sin. This is something everyone should know. Because of our nature, it shows that we are in need of a savior, and this is the beauty of the gospel. The good news that God sent his only son into this world, not to condemn people, but that the world through him might be saved. Saved from their wrong desires and their sins. But how can a person be saved? Firstly, they must come to understand that their unrighteous acts are wrong in the sight of God. This happens when you read the Bible and see what is God's will. 1 Corinthians chapter 6 verses 9 reads, Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind. So here, the Bible lists a group of unrighteous acts that can cause us not to inherit eternal life. And Stephen, one of those is an effeminate. An effeminate is a male who has the character or behavior associated with a woman. God sees this act as wrong. And secondly, Stephen, they must believe. B believe Yes, Stephen. Believe. Believe Jesus came into this world to give us power. Power to overcome any and every temptation, every bad habit, every wrong thought and actions. If we would believe that he came to deliver us, and if we believe that he can give us power through the Holy Ghost to overcome, then he is able to manifest through us the faith we have in him. And then, Stephen, then we will have power to walk after his example, and daily we can overcome. Wow! I never knew this. I've got a lot to think about. Yes, Stephen. Think about it prayerfully. Now, let's get back to camp before they start to miss us. Well, that brings an end to day four. 
it's time to present you with your survival badge. Whoa, we have our work cut out for us today.